guys it's Britt and I think I found my new favorite thing to do and favorite place to go live it's in my new car having a Starbucks tea because it's nighttime it's like 8 p.m. here um, and just sitting in my car in this parking lot outside of my apartment um, because I just don't want to go in yet I love being in my new car because it's just everything about it is just niceness to me um, and I just had a great yoga class and it inspired me to talk about this topic, okay? So how to tell if it's the voice of your soul or the voice of not soul and say hi to me guys when you pop on Tea's hot and if you pop on on the replay say hi to me. Let me know that you're here um, <laughs> This topic is just so needed. Hey astral yeah, you just woke up from a nap. Perfect timing. Um, so, yeah, so many people talk about, you know, follow your soul, right? Or listen to the voice of your soul or your soul always knows, right? Lots of people talk about this. But I see less talk about how to tell, like, what is the actual voice of your soul versus what is just complete bullshit and should be ignored, Okay, you know, what, you know what I'm saying, right? And it can get a little bit confusing. Like what is the actual voice of your soul, right? And what do you actually pay attention to? Um, so let's get clear on it. Let's talk about it right now, you guys. So I'll give you some tips. I'll give you some tips. Actually, I got a cookie too. I might eat this cookie too during this live stream. So. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I just did yoga, so I'm like super chill. I'm trying to like bring the thoughts back into my mind. But I knew that I wanted to talk about this before yoga, so I want to talk about it now. So how to tell if it's the voice of your soul? Here's the thing. Your soul is actually infinitely patient, okay? So quite often we have voices in our own heads, right? We have inner voices that are telling us to do whatever the fuck we're supposed to do. Um, and you'll know that it's the voice of your soul when your soul is like your soul is patient with you in the way that your soul talks to you. So when it's the voice of your soul, your soul will like gently nudge you. So I'll call it soul nudges, right? Your soul nudges you in the right direction. Your soul doesn't push you or force you or tell you, you better do this or else fuck you, right? So your soul isn't aggressive. Your soul isn't demanding. Your soul isn't um, like threatening to withdraw its love from you if you don't act in certain ways, right? Those are characteristics of people and like the people that aren't connected with soul, right? So forgive me if my words are coming a little bit slower. I just got my period. It's, the, it's day one of my period. So today I had the thought, like today I had the thought, um, should I go to yoga? Okay, like what would my soul do? Or should I just have a nap? And don't get me wrong, sometimes it is totally soul aligned to just have a fucking nap and not go to yoga. I've done that lots. But today when I asked myself and I got quiet and I, I was like, would my soul go to yoga tonight? And I saw like from a higher self version of myself like that yes, my higher self or my soul would actually go to yoga tonight and I did have the energy for it and it would be a good experience. So like that's an example of me talking to my soul, right? Whereas I could have easily thought that my soul was saying, no, Brittany, like stay home and be lazy and have a nap. Like I was kind of like lying in bed anyways. I was trying to have a nap, but actually my mind was too active to even have a nap. So I was like, wait a second, I think that I'm actually being called to go to yoga, even though it would have been easy for me to be like, oh, it's day one of my period, like fuck it, I'm not gonna go to yoga, whatever. Um, but I didn't do that, right? And now I feel great, I had a great time at yoga, I got a smoothie at yoga, which I drank in one second, so I had to go get a, a tea. Um, <laughs> am I calling you out? <laughs> so it's so easy to do that, right? Like I used to do that all the time where I'd be like, oh well, you know, I don't really want to actually go to the gym. I'm just not feeling like it. I'm just not feeling like going to the gym. But when you really get quiet, it, you actually realize that if you were being the best version of yourself, so this is something that you, that you want to ask yourself often. If I was being the best version of myself, if I was being my higher self, 
would I go to fucking yoga tonight or would I go to the gym? And sometimes the answer is going to be actually, no, no, I wouldn't. I would just fucking like write or I'll just have a nap because sometimes when I have a nap, that light's pissing me off. It's the sunlight. Fuck you, sun. You're making my lighting fuck up. Um, I can't do anything about it. I can't. I guess I could hold, I could hold it over here. Okay. I don't know. Where, where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Oh, thanks, Beverly. So another thing too, you guys, your soul is always loving to yourself and others. Okay. So if you've got a voice in your head that is yelling at people all the time and pointing out all their stupid actions and pointing out your own stupid actions, so criticizing you, the critical voice is actually not the voice of your soul. Okay. And you might think that it is right because it, it might be helping you like that voice might be helping you become a better person and stuff like but it's not the voice of your soul okay your soul never criticizes you your soul always loves you unconditionally right in the moment even if you're being a total fuck up loser in the moment your soul loves you still <laughs> um <laughs> And your soul is infinitely patient with you, which brings me to my first point that I said, your soul is patient. Um, and also, yeah, your soul is always loving to yourself and others. So your soul is never demanding that you do certain things or take certain actions. Um, oh my God, the sun. Yeah, should I eat the cookie? I'll have a bite. Pretty good. I don't know if my soul was actually telling me to eat this cookie or not. Um, in all honesty, my soul was telling me to get freaking egg bites for the protein because I'm on my period. And then the freaking Starbucks ran out of egg bites, or they ran out of the ones that I like, which are the bacon ones. So I saw that cookie and I thought, fuck it, I'll get that cookie. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> it's like a sugar cookie from Starbucks. It's like a sugar confetti cookie. It's, it's pretty cool. If I do say so myself, it's actually quite good. And I keep spilling tea all over myself. So the voice of your soul that is telling you, okay, no, the voice of your soul is never telling you hurtful things okay and the voice of your soul or inner being from like a Abraham Hicks perspective is always like loving you and calling you forward but never forcing you right because think of how long it's been where you didn't listen to your soul right like your soul's been with you since day one and what how many days have you lived now and your soul has never forced you into listening to it, right? So I want you to drop all the ideas. I put my fucking sunglasses on. I want you to drop all the ideas that like, you're not as far along as you should be because that is not the voice of your soul. So these are some tips, right? Soul is always patient. Soul is always loving to yourself and others. And your soul is always gently guiding you. Your soul is gentle. I think that was actually my first point. Your soul is very gentle. So knowing this, when you're listening to your own self-talk, you can know how to tell which is which. And I promise you, if, um, I promise you, if you continually listen to this voice and, you know, get good at it, you will have clarity in your life and you'll always know the correct action to take. And really what you should do is ask your soul to be with you more. Like you can just make the command, soul, I would like to know more of you. I would like to be with you more. I would like to feel more connected with you. And as you allow your soul to be one with you more and more in your daily life, you're gonna know what actions are the right actions to take and you're always gonna be on your higher path, okay? Does that kind of make sense that you can make a command that you want to be with your soul more and then your soul will be with you more and you'll start getting guided to certain things. You're always being guided. People that don't even know they have a soul are being guided 
to you know the right actions to take that would make their life more joyful right even if you haven't been listening you're always being guided so yeah I guess like since you guys can't even really see me maybe I'll go or what the fuck I'll just move I'll just move hold on you guys driving Now you can see me. So is that making sense, you guys? Is that making sense? You're welcome. Now use it. Apply it. Okay? And let's talk a little bit more about souls. Everybody has a soul. Okay? There's not one person on this earth that doesn't have a soul. Okay? And you can connect with people at the soul level. I'm glad it does. Yeah, road trips with Brit. <laughs> well, now I can see better. I was like straight up, straight up getting blinded by the sun, right? So when you realize that you have a soul and everybody else has a soul and you can connect with other, other people at the soul level and actually you always are connected with other people at a soul level, whether you know it or not, um, you just feel connected with all of life. And, you know, if you struggle with feelings of feeling disconnected with life or disconnected with other people, like you feel like you're kind of on your own and, you know, nobody really gets you or like nobody's really here with you, right? If you struggle with those feelings, connecting to your soul and connecting to other people's souls can really help you heal that feeling of loneliness or feeling like nobody really gets you or, or it's just you alone in the world, right? Um, another thing too that you can get really good at doing is, um, here's another quality of your soul actually. Your soul is never needy. Okay. Oh my God. Do I know that guy? Is that the guy that I was texting on the weekend? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to see people that I know right now. I'm just, it's day one of my period. I'm just like, oh my God. Like I, I'm starting to feel like better like I'm not PMSing but I still like don't really want to fucking talk to people if I don't have to um, where did he go I don't know hey Rebecca so actually I feel like I saw my soulmate at the gym but I, w I didn't feel like talking to him I like looked in this guy's eyes across the smoothie bar when I was getting my smoothie and I saw his eyes and I swear like it was like I looked at his eyes and I was like oh my god like it, I just like felt something I was like whoa like that was my soul right and then I was like shit like and then I I was just like no I don't want to do this right now like I don't I don't want to meet another soulmate and I mean he was like quite older than me also but like it was just like I looked at him and I was just like either like oh my god I really want to have sex with you or like I don't know like your eyes are looking into my soul like straight the fuck up I was like whoa it was like a soul connection anyways um and also, I kind of have a crush on the guy that makes my smoothies, too. So that doesn't help, right? There's just, there's just way too many soulmates. But anyway, so what I wanted to talk about a little bit more here is that your soul is never needy. Your soul is never needy, right? Your soul doesn't need you to do anything. Like, or it, your soul especially does not need other people to do anything. So if you start to get in this needy scarcity vibe, or you can know for sure when you feel upset because someone else hasn't done something, you can know that that's not the voice of your soul. Like that's not really you. And here is another thing that you can do with your soul and connecting with your soul. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but I actually, when I first started my business, I called myself Brit Soul. And it was because all I wanted to talk about, to talk about was soul stuff right now I just go by Brittany Taylor because I mean Brittany Taylor is just like fucking awesome and actually I had a client back like oh, a year ago who actually we ended up kind of like liking each other I think it was kind of awkward so I, but it was a good learning experience for me but anyways I had a client like a year ago and he was like Brittany Taylor is like a fucking like famous name like it's like Britney Spears it's like like he loved my name Brittany Taylor he just thought it was badass 
And then so, oh shit, I lost my phone there. And then so I thought about it and I'm like, shit, like I need to use my real name. Like all the best people just use their real name and like actually I do think I have a good name. So anyways, that's why I don't call myself Brit Soul anymore. But the name still applies. The Brit Soul name still applies. I'm going to unplug this. It's probably charged enough to do this video. So the reason why I'm so passionate about is because this is how real changes occur in your life is when you make the changes at the soul level. So that's what we're talking about. But what I want to finish this off with, because I'm going to go inside and just like Netflix and chill myself because I'm on my period and like I can do whatever the fuck I want. And actually I've done a lot of stuff today. I cooked a really nice pasta for like lunch and oh yeah, I can eat that now. I can eat it for dinner. I forgot that I made this really nice pasta in the afternoon. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy <laughs> because food food that was good that I cooked. I'm just so proud of myself. Oh my God. This, let's just have a standing ovation. Can everybody please send me love hearts because I have food at home that I cooked that is fucking amazing. It's like this Cajun chicken pasta dish and I forgot that it was at home and now I just realized it's at home and I'm going to go eat it. Oh my God. I love life. Like that literally I just like, you know, that release when you have an orgasm, when I just thought about that food that's at home, I'm just like, Oh my God, that's so good. Um, anyways, what was I talking about before that? What was I talking about? Oh, you guys are doing the hearts. You're so sweet. I love you guys. Um, yeah. Okay. This is what I was going to say. This is the most important thing that you have heard all day guaranteed you guys. So if you're ever feeling like needy for someone, or if you're ever feeling like, wow, like if this guy would just do this, thing then I would feel good right like if this guy would just text me back if this guy would just take me out or you know if this person would just start acting right or whatever um oh yeah my name Brittany Taylor yeah it's a good name and that's why I go by it now thanks Olga you love the way I say pasta how the fuck are you supposed to say pasta I am being a Taurus yeah um Oh my God, my Mercury and Gemini is off the chain right now though. I literally cannot stay on topic, but I'm going to say that all of this is relevant for you in your life because if it weren't, I wouldn't be saying it, right? Yeah, so I was talking about my name, but what I really want to talk about is that neediness is not an expression of your soul. And the reason why I want to say that is because you can actually learn to download feelings into yourself from your soul. So like if you're wanting someone to act in a certain way so that you'll feel better, you're fighting a losing battle because you don't need anybody else to do anything different for you to feel different. Okay. You can actually create feelings from within with your soul. So let's say you're in any situation, like think, think of some situation where you feel a little bit you know, unsure or unsatisfied or lonely or like, you know, that feeling of like, there's something missing. You can actually download the feeling of wholeness from your soul so that you feel healed. Okay. Yeah. So Winnie says, you are seriously amazing. Haha. <laughs> and I'm actually feeling needy now. I thought I was over it. Okay. So this is the message for you, Winnie. You can actually download whatever it is, the feeling that you're feeling needy for, right? With your soul you can heal yourself with your soul. Like, what was it? Yesterday I was kind of feeling like, hey, I wanna have a boyfriend right now. Like I wanna have a boyfriend right now. And I, I was actually driving, this was last night before I did that awesome video that I did last night, which probably kicks the ass of this video, but who knows, they're both good in their own way. So I started to feel like, oh, I really want to have a boyfriend like right now. And then I made that status today where I'm like, no, I'm a wife. And then I really like just decided in that. and. That's not the actual truth yet. Like, obviously I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a husband, but I don't give a fuck. Like I don't feel neediness. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I ne he needs to show up tomorrow. I don't feel like he needs to show up even in the next year. Like it doesn't even fucking matter. Like even though I want it now, it's like, I feel zero neediness about it. And the reason that is, is because I was just driving, driving along and I know how to do this. I just downloaded the feeling into my soul of whatever it was that I wanted to experience. So for me, you have to figure out what it is that you're actually wanting from a relationship. For me, it's that feeling of excitement 
that feeling of exhilaration and joy, that feeling of like, um, you know, like not knowing what's going to happen, like a little bit of like unknownness in it, which might not be everybody's favorite thing in a relationship guaranteed. Um, but also that feeling of family. Okay. Like that feeling of like having a family with them. And then, so I was noticing that the feeling I was really craving was that feeling of family. It is fucking groundbreaking, right? Thank you for being here. So that feeling of family. So I just brought in that feeling of family and I was driving. So you can do this when you're driving. You can do this when you're feeling other shit because sometimes you're going to be too busy to just do a full on fucking healing of yourself. Right? So you want to just do this instantly. So I just brought in the feeling of family and instantly I felt like I already have it. I felt like it already was so much, so much that I don't give a shit if it even is. And that is the truth for manifesting you guys. That is the truth for manifesting anything. You just create the feeling from within. And then once you really feel it, it happens. Okay. So, and sometimes it can happen instantly. Like maybe that guy at the gym was my fucking soulmate. I mean, I don't know. Right. Like he could have been, maybe I manifested my husband like literally 10 minutes ago, you guys, but I don't even, I don't even give a fuck because I'm so solid in the feeling already. Right. So once you're so solid in the feeling of whatever it is that you're wanting, it's like you don't even need it anymore. And as soon as you've hit that feeling and you feel that that switch being flicked, like you're like, whoa, like I actually feel it right now so much that I don't even care. That's when you're manifesting. And like experience it for yourself. This is real shit. Sometimes they do not like put this lid on right. It's like spilling on me. So honestly, like rewind that shit once I finish this video and watch that again, because that is literally how to manifest anything is by downloading the feelings with your soul. So you can just ask your soul, Hey soul, I found out that I'm feeling needy because I'm craving like whatever the fuck communication, love, blah, blah, blah. focus on one feeling at a time. Can you please download me with this feeling? And then just close, like, well, if you're driving, don't close your eyes. I did this while I was driving yesterday. But if you're just chilling out, close your eyes and just feel your soul integrating you with this feeling in every cell of your being. And you're doing this all the time anyways, though, even without asking your soul. But when you ask your soul for guidance, it's like, ask it if it's given, right? Like if, or if you ask your soul for the solution, like I want the solution to this problem. Like I just can't figure this out. And then you like go to sleep at night, ask your soul, please show me the solution in my dream or allow me, allow me to wake up and, and just know the answer. I do that a lot where like I go to bed and I'm like, shit, I kind of wondering about something. And then I ask my soul to just resolve it in my sleep and then I'll dream heal it or whatever. And that's a really cool thing to do too. So, I mean, there's so many ways to connect with your soul. Like and so many um, ways to tell like if it's your soul like well, the ones that I just told you so your soul is always gentle with you your soul is always loving to yourself and others and your soul is patient right your soul isn't like go fulfill your soul work right away your soul is guiding you to it but I mean look at how long you went without knowing your soul and your soul is like always there for you and it's always gonna love you even if you connect with it or not right so it's not, I don't want you to think that the critical voice in your head that's like, bitch, why haven't you completed your soul purpose yet? Um, I don't want you to think that's the voice of your soul because it's not. The voice of your soul is going to be saying more like something like, everything is happening perfectly. You are in the perfect right place at the perfect right time. And all is happening according to God's will and divine right order and, and timing. And also your soul is gonna guide you to see how all of your past challenges built you into the person that you are today that you need to be to actually fulfill your soul's purpose. So um, <laughs> that's like what I talked about in my video yesterday is how to turn that pain into gold, right? And then we started talking about gold bricks and stuff, right? But my video yesterday will teach you how to actually turn your pain into gold. And my video today will teach you how to connect with your soul and you know, tell like, is this my soul or is this not my soul? Like, what am I listening to? What voice am I listening to? So the critical voice is not your soul. Okay. The impatient voice, the voice that's like, hurry the fuck up and do this thing is also not the voice of your soul. 
And the voice of your soul that isn't loving to you or others is not your actual soul. So I hope that makes sense. Um, you can download feelings into your soul so that whenever you're feeling like you're missing something, like maybe you're feeling not whole because you're feeling needy in some way, you can clear that neediness by downloading feelings from your soul. So true healing is always happening by bringing in the opposite feeling, right? So if we're feeling lonely, we bring in love. If we're feeling, you know, non-abundant, we bring in abundant, like, you know what I mean? So you can always bring in the feeling that you're needing with your soul, okay? And actually, once you learn how to do it, it's so fucking easy. And then you feel emotionally centered and serene and peaceful all the time because you don't need any outer situation or anybody to act in any way in order for you to feel something. And here's the ultimate deeper spiritual truth of it all is that you are creating them all and you are creating all the situations in your life with your inner feelings. So if you master this, you can create the life that you want on all levels, okay? And if you want some help with it, my golden goddess, one-on-one -on -one coaching is for you. Message me for the info on that. I would love to take this deeper with you if you're feeling called. So this is the highest level to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You get two one-on-one -on -one sessions per month. You get unlimited boxer support, which is like a walkie-talkie, so you can literally be messaging me like all fucking day. Um, I hope you're not messaging me all day though, but like <laughs> you can message me as much as you need to in this package because it is unlimited support. And we can work through things of things like healing heartbreak and jealousy, you know, healing those feelings of insecurity and sadness and like betrayal complexes in your heart. We can work on soul purpose stuff, soul connection stuff, finding your soul purpose. Like maybe you're ready to transition from, you know, like you're decently happy, but you know that you could be so much more creative and you're starting to see people that are living their dream lives, doing things they want to do. And you want to transition out of, you know, your life being like, filled with a few good things here and there, but you know that it could be so much more joyful if you knew how to manifest your dream life, if you knew um, how to connect more with your soul and download these feelings. So message me if you're wanting to do this powerful work. This is once in a lifetime stuff, you guys. Like I've been working on the soul stuff and healing my heart and you know, using these spiritual principles since I was like fucking, 16 years old so this is like seven years of my knowledge and like six healing courses later and hypnotherapist course later and all the shit that I've done you can learn it within three to six months so I'm offering a three-month package and a six-month package so it's kind of like a no-brainer so message me if you want more info if you want the link to check that out there's very limited space available for this as it's like deep one-on-one -on -one healing work and like a lot of my time and energy will just go to building you into the soul led, you know, joy of living version of yourself because you came for the joy of living. And that's all I wanted to say, you guys, I'm going to go eat my wonderful pasta that I made earlier and maybe like Netflix and chill out. Love you guys. Message me about the golden goddess activation coaching. If you are curious and want more info, and remember, you came for the joy of living. Bye, guys.